looking at Rochelle playing today, I'm like, man, preaching and singing. Jenya preaching and singing. Drake preaching and singing. Gino preaching and singing. Crystal preaching and singing. Oh my word, we all have some multi-talented people. We are awesome. Mm -hmm. And I mean that. We are awesome. God is doing something crazy in our group. Everybody right. does like 15 things. We are multi-awesomeness. All right. You know <laughs> but that's not why you come to church. That's right. Let me give you three things why people come to church. Number one, out of guilt. This is what I've discovered. I might be wrong. Somebody help me later. Number one, out of guilt. You think that, you think that, listen, I grew up like this, so I can preach on it a little bit. You, I'm sorry. What's up, team? How are you doing? Um, when, you, when you feel guilty, when you feel like you done did, I'm going to preach a lot of bad words today. You, when you feel like you done did dirt for six days, Mm. Okay, since last Wednesday, because a lot of us don't go to big church because mom will go to big church and it's not a cool like image, right? You, you feel like, man, I, I, I've lied, I've cheated, I've, I've manipulated people, I've tricked a couple people, I've been dis deceitful. You feel, I've, I've watched some pornography, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, I've, I've done some things, I probably kissed some boy, I probably let some things happen that shouldn't happen. All that happens, right? And it's this big old guilt cloud and guilt coat just comes over you. And you feel like Wednesday, I just got to get in the place that I know he's going to say something that's going to help me feel better about my situation. Yep. And you get guilted into coming to church. Let me tell you something. When you are guilted into coming to church, when you're doing it out of a guilt trip, you get nothing. That's right. I got facts to back this up when we get to it. I got biblical proof. You get nothing. The second reason why people come to church, out of obligation. Oh, I just have to be there because it's Wednesday. That's what I do on Wednesdays. If I don't show up, then oh, what are they going to do without me? I have to be there. Or perhaps you're 15 years old and your mama's coming to big church and, and you know if you don't go to little church or middle church, wherever this is, you get to Because <laughs> you don't drive. You don't have that option yet. But you're 15 and, oh, yeah, 16 is coming. And I'm going to start driving. I'm going to start working in Win dixie You got your whole plan right out, right? I'm going to get my car, and then I ain't coming. I'll come when I feel like I'm coming to second service instead of first service. Because first service is way too early, and I'll be on Facebook for like 4.50 in the morning. You're obligated to come. Yep. Perhaps, and I've seen this too. I'm going to get on some of the young suckers in here. And the reason why the young suckers come, because that girl, man. Yep. Get em. You come because of her. I've seen it. I wish those suckers were here today. I don't see a lot of them, but that sucks. Boy, it's a lot of suckers that come to church, man. And I make sure my young ladies... Young ladies, shout me down if I don't. I make sure when you bring a dude in, I'm like, who's this fool, man? <laughs> yep. And I get gangster with him. Like, well, what's, what's, your, what's your motive? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> what's your motive, bro? Pat down. I, see, I got that bad boy scene in my head from Bad Boys 2. Like, that's me. I'm Uncle Mike. I don't know why y'all watching that. That's terrible. What's wrong with y'all? Get the oil. Get the oil. I got that in my head. Every time I meet a joker, I'm like, well, where you before? Hmm? Why you come to the car wash? Oh yeah, because she was in prayer. Oh yeah, so so, so you want to give her? Be at the car wash. The car wash started at nine. I need you to be a seven. <laughs> be real with it. You know, obligation. You feel obligated to come to church. The third reason people people come to church is because they just want an impartation from God. God, give me this. Give me that. Rain down on me. Let it be about me, Jesus. Mm -hmm. God, I need this. I need this. All I need is you to pay my light bill, to pay my phone, yes. to pay my phone. All I need is you, Lord. Some shoes, Lord. <laughs> All I need is you to pay my light bill. All I need is jewels, Lord. Some shoes, Lord. See, you think it's about you.
themselves and devoted themselves and they broke bread together, mm -hmm. then they begin to see signs, wonders, and miracles. Only when you give, you receive. Genesis 8, 22 will never cease to exist as long as this world's here, as long as you and I are here. Yeah. You have to give first and then you receive. Worship is about giving God his proper dues and honor who he is in your life. Yeah. Then you receive. And even in this church, we've seen it, the bishop preaches about it, the message of seed time and harvest has been strictly and sickly um, preached wrong or take, taken wrong. People have abused the message. You give first and then you give. Yep. Hey, Pastor, you, you can sign these community service hours for me. Really? Who are you? <laughs> oh, no. And I hold it like this. No, dog, you have a remote, so you don't know me because I'm your dog. It don't work. Go talk to Gino. Be his friend. Let him bring you back. Because that happens a lot. <laughs> like, yo, this is Reese is my friend George. And then I'm like, oh, what's up, dog? We start over. Right. Yep. Pastor Reese, can you do this for me? Really? I sign him up. Yo, how many hours do you need? I need 50 hours. Okay, we'll break this up over, you know, there's some events coming up. Oh, no, I, I need them. By the, by the, I got a court date tomorrow. Like, I'm going to get locked up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, because you showed up, I'm just supposed to do it for you. Oh, yes, you could have went anywhere else, but you decided to come to me. Really? Let's get it. Let's get it right, y'all. Giving, then you receive. That's right. Be, be faithful with what God has put in your hand. That's worship. That's right. Oh, I'm believing God for the super raise on my little public job. I just got hired. At, I'm a bagger, right? And I want to be like a cashier, but you got to go through all this time. I just want to jump to cashier, because the girl over there, she... she she won't be talking to people right. She'd be smelling bad. Like you get, and then you say you want to you want to get promoted, but you don't want to bag right. You yeah. looking at your nails and people at the counter. I'm like, oh my god, I gotta call Shaniqua. <laughs> the lady like, hi, how are you? Like, mm, see, whatever. See, he, he, he be tripping. Hold on a second. Hello. Yeah, hi, ma'am. How you doing? Oh, good. I know your eggs go in a separate bag. He's like, I'm stupid or something. See, girl, I don't even know. And he, Sorry for being so extra. I just have to go there with you. But when you come to give, that's when you get. Okay? Point number dose. All right. I told you I got a lot. See, I still believe, before we go into that point, when you come to church, that marriages are restored. You're like, what does that have to do with me? I mean, you, you're a product of that broken marriage. That's right. It affects you, whether you know it or not. I can, if I go around this room right now and ask how many people came from a broken home, then I, it makes sense why you sometimes act the way you act. Mm -hmm. When my parents had an issue, I acted out. And so you don't care. What happened? You ain't coming. Fine. I don't care. You come home by now. I'll be there when I get there. Yeah. Product of the brokenness. Right. I still believe when we come to church that marriages are restored because God is a God of restoration. That's right. I still believe that every time I speak and every time it's important and, and when we preach the gospel that when I speak, some girl's virginity is on the line. That's why we come here. It's true. Out there, they're telling you, give it up. And then they disguise it and say, if you like it, then you put a butter ring on it. If you like it, then what about righteousness, man? What about the one? What about the one that God created for you? That's right. Anybody putting rings on stuff and then the divorce rate is out of control in America and we wonder why. Because we're not taking time to centralize what God considered to be his worship and holiness and purity and righteousness. We're not taking time to get into that. We're just doing the world system, but we're in the church. That's right. And the church divorce rate is more is greater than, than the world. So true. Why come? How come? Somebody help me out. Because we're not worshiping God with our lives. That's right. We're not worshiping God with our, our, our sexuality. See, I believe that when you come in here, relationships get torn up. You don't know how many people I have to have in my office. Oh, she said it's about you. Duh, duh, duh. Hey, guys, I only hear that part. I only hear that part. Let's come together. Let's get this thing worked out. Mm -hmm. Mediation, where none of us leave this room broken and messed up and hating somebody. It's all about love. That's when you see God's hand move. That's when you see the miraculous. The miraculous. That's when you see the signs, the wonders, and the miracles happen. When that's facilitated. And here, God has set up a structure in, in, on this earth called church yeah. that these things take place. You see people that are, that are less fortunate get fed. This is one of the most given ministries I've ever seen in my whole life. I know people that come in annually with a $14 million budget a year. I talk to people, youth pastors and, and big pastors, senior pastors, young guys like myself, have crazy anointings, crazy miracles, but they don't give what we give, and they make $50 million more than we, get when we, than we make a year. Yeah. And we give it out every single month. Not because, oh, look at us, look at us. We believe in what God says, clothe the naked, feed the hungry. Yeah, amen. 
We believe in sowing and reaping. You see what I'm saying? And that happens by the institution of church. Yeah. 